welcome back to the channel guys it is me ad 744 so today guys we're doing our reactions to um uh, the, the group a games so we have lebanon nil china nil man this was an interesting game this was a good game even though it finished nil nil this was a great game to watch there's chances on both ends and i think if you're see for me this was kind of a game of two halves i think for me um lebanon were better in the first half because and China were probably better in the second half. Lebanon created so many chances in the first half. I remember they hit the crossbar, I think, in the first half. China did come alive, though. There was, like, one really... I think there was a really good uh, brief period of time where I think the Matar, the goalkeeper for Lebanese, he had to make three good saves uh, in a spam of, like, few minutes. And Lebanon, man, they were just creating chance after chance. That being said, though, I do think China created the better quality chances, though. I do think they created the better quality chances. And you can see right here the momentum thing. China created more chances. They had seven shots, four on target, one big chance miss. I'm assuming that big chance miss was the one that uh, the key keeper made a lot of good saves. I think Woolley missed a sitter in this game. Um, Lebanon has six shots, two on target. Then the second half, man, once again, Lebanon hit the crossbar again, six shots, three on target. China had eight shots, three on target, and two big chances to miss. So ultimately, guys, I think for um, this one, guys, it's a good, it's a good result for Lebanon, I would say, and for China, man. It's not a good result. It's not a good result for China because, and I feel like for China, they're in a really bad position because if you look at the group table right here, guys, we'll get onto the Qatar game a bit later. Um, China's in a position where they pretty much have to basically win against Qatar. If China don't beat Qatar, they're pretty much out because a draw could m m see them through, but it would require results in their favor. And if, and if they lose, they're obviously out. So yeah, they need to win that now thankfully for them qatar have topped the group so qatar have already secured round of 16 progression so but yeah man for china man they, they gotta do better man they gotta do better Wu lee man that chances those chances he missed man um um let me see if i can see it here in the thing here else stats can i see that here uh it doesn't show here but yeah Wu lee man he missed a lot he missed big chances man he missed big chances and i think for lebanon if you're if you're from lebanon you're happy with this one you're happy with this one because i think china for me Overall, I think they were the much better team. Um, Motok had a good chance there. And you can just see with both teams, man, they just don't have the finishing quality in the final third. Both these teams are terrible in the final third. Um, both these teams don't have enough quality in the final third. So it's going to be interesting to see which team progresses from this group in the final match. And, of course, remember, guys, the third-place teams can still advance the best four there. Uh, moving on to the other game we've got here. It is uh, Qatar versus Tajikistan. Um... Oh, yeah, and I think Lebanon hit the crossbar two times. I think I already discussed that. Qatar, Tajikistan, nil. Qatar won. Qatar, man, they once again won. They won this game by a comfortable margin. Even though the score was only 1-0, I think for me they were the much better team. Tajikistan, for me, didn't really create enough attacking quality chances. And they just weren't really that great on the day. They were decent, to be fair, in the first half. First half, I'll give you credit. They had some. They had their chances here and there. But the second half, man, they, they just couldn't do it. And... For Qatar, man, once again, man, um, Akram Afif, man, the guy continues to score, uh, put the guy continues to score in good goal scoring form, and the guy was a great, great goal there. Almost Ali got the assist for that beautiful through ball for Afif, and Afif scored, man. And for Tajikistan, man, they didn't really do much um, in this game, and to be honest with you, they had some chances here and there. I think they got some sh shots from the set pieces. And then there was a really good goal line clearance made. And I think of the 43rd minute just before halftime. I don't remember the player here. I think it might have been this guy. Let me see if I can find here. Someone made a really good goal line clearance when the goalkeeper. Yes, yes, it was this guy. Durov made a goal line clearance, man. That could have been a different game. But yeah, for Qatar, man, they topped this group, man. They topped the group just after match day two because Lebanon and China ends in a draw. And Qatar had topped the group with six points. They are through as group winners. And now they'll be placing, playing against a third-place team from, um, I think it's, I forgot which groups they play, a third-place team. But they play a third-place team from one of the, I think it's groups D to F, if I had to, if I'm, if I had to check. But I don't really remember the time I had. But anyways, for um, Tajikistan, man, it's really, really tough luck for them. And then we're going to talk about that red card, man. That red card for me was a really, really bad foul there from Kamalov. Really, really bad. He got his studs up on the player. I forgot which guitar player he got his studs up on. And um, it was definitely a red. It was definitely a red. I don't think there's any argument for that. And for Tajikistan, man, they were good in this game. But, like, the thing is, like, what I said with Tajikistan is I kind of said this in my first game. Is that this is a good team. They can create chances, but they can't finish. And that's what I realized with this group is that all three of Lebanon, China, and Tajikistan cannot finish. 
And so it's going to be very interesting to see which team actually progresses. Because my goodness to me, man. Qatar is just too good for the rest of the countries of this group. Like, like they're just too good. So I'm really interested to see who's going to get that second and third place, respectively. Because right now, the group is interesting. Because Tajikistan are on one point with a minus one goal difference. China on two with a zero goal difference. Qatar on six with four points. I mean, six points with a four goal difference. And Lebanon minus three one point. So looking ahead to the next match day, guys, I, I think China plays Qatar. And obviously, Tajikistan plays Lebanon. So the two decisive games. So, um, yeah, man, for it's going to be very interesting to see who gets us second place because we might just see that both games ends in draws. Both game end in draws. And if that's if that's the case, then China would progress in second place. And there's a crazy ser uh, crazy thing where China could just progress from this group without even scoring a single goal. That would be insane if they could actually do that. But, you know, for Qatar, man, they were good in this game. I think they were I think they were better than they were in the last game. But I'm still not really that convinced with Qatar because, like I said, I don't really feel like the teams in this group is that amazing quality. But... Um, yeah, I think for, um, I think for Qatar, man, this is a good three points and, um, let's see what they do, man. Let's see what they do in the round of 16. So I hope you guys did enjoy this, uh, re review guys. Remember guys, we're doing an Asian cup, I think match day review on Sunday. I think we'll do it on Sunday, the reaction. So, um, like I said, guys, hope you guys enjoy. Remember guys to like and subscribe and yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.